have to start the game up before starting the stream up. So you have to switch to a little bit of a loading screen. But, in the meantime, we can recap. When we last left our heroes, we just crashed! Before that, a building got infected by the darkness and tried to kill Alan Wake. Or maybe tried to help Alan Wake. It's a little bit on both sides. Not really sure which way it's kind of go. That was a really I fast loading. I thought it'd take crash. longer. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, Barry was just Barry, shouting for me. You're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, Jeez. is fine. Must have been a heck Forget of a drop. That. Are you like, okay? super duper freaking heck of a drop. Didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb <laughs> down though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, yeah. There's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you alright? Nice. Nice, oh, Barry. I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Ha ha ha. Good job, Barry. I'll be waiting. Uh, all right, Barry. Barry. Just wait okay. for me, okay? Ow, I'm not staying Good thing there's suicide. I'm going to you the know. Bar. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's ran. Probably don't go that way. This would turn into a disaster <laughs> if I didn't catch up with Barry. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Barry hasn't been fighting these things for more than like a few minutes. Come on. He, he doesn't have the Alan Wake capabilities. He doesn't know. He's probably even more out of shape than Alan Wake is. Oh, great. Right, wonderful. All right, we're going up here because you know what this looks like? Somewhere where there might be things that I can get. Ah, things that I can get to help me survive in the darkness because I don't got a flashlight right now. No flashlight, no flashlight. But I have this. This looks like a place where I could go. Ha ha! Whoa! Alright. Are you not trying to knock it over all these crates, huh? Well, I'm gonna get this piece of paper. Screw you. Crates and shelving units and darkness. We're gonna read my story. The car at the Anderson farm. Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch. <laughs> and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Damn. Not sure what all that's about. Doesn't sound great. Also, seriously, where... Oh, no. And dodge and dodge and dodge. Yes! Okay. I'm gonna turn this back on. Aha, take that. Yes! Come on, Alan Wake. You could do better than that. Ah, or maybe you can't. Everything wants to murder me. Ow. Well, at least the one car blocked the other one. At least that's that's a good thing. Right? Now, unfortunately, now they just have a straight shot to hitting me in the back if they get thrown up here. Come on, dude. Catch your breath. Catch your freaking breath, man. Oh, good. They're slow. They can't catch up. Haha, <laughs> they had to catch their breath too. I need a light to destroy them to get through. I'm assuming going this way is bad. It looks dark and spooky and bad. But I'm gonna go anyway. Wow, you just, just pitch black. There's nothing. Alright. I need a flashlight. Real bad. Or a lighter. Or a glow stick. I uh, something. Why can't I use the pages? The pages glow? Can I just like hold the pages up? stared at the past outrider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion. But he had a job. like using the word oblivion a lot. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hands shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Jeez. Okay, when is that gonna happen? When am I gonna put myself in a position of like I hope that level of vulnerability? Somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Probably not gonna be my own doing. 
And hopefully this generator doesn't break, being old. But, I mean, it always might. There's some light. Oh, cool. Eh. Light pole. Light. Swingy, swingy, light pole. Yes. Swingy, swingy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We just gotta wait for it to, uh... And light's gonna be okay, huh? Are you, are you gonna turn out? Yeah, of course you're gonna go out. I could sense the movement you only have enough charge. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, <gasps> yes! but I had no choice. I mean, I have a weapon now. The best weapon of all. A flashlight with infinite batteries. But actually no batteries. I have... No gun. I can't. Why? If seriously, why can't I just grab a stick? You know, there's sticks all over the place, or a rock, or two sticks and a rock. I wouldn't even have to share the rock. There's no one else here. Barry's elsewhere. Oh, I'm looking around like a spastic right now. Yep. 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 <laughs> lazy dodge. Lazy, lazy dodge. Come on. It's gonna break all your break all your protections. Okay, alright, cool. Okay, you have no protections now. Cool, okay, good. Now I'm just gonna run. Run and run and run and run and run and run. Haha! -ha. You get back! Back I say! Back! You you meet, you fiend! Back I say! Can I just start this with a simple button press? Nope, of course not. Oh my god. I'm gonna get killed right here. Uh, oh, wouldn't let me off the thing? It won't let me off the thing! Uh -huh. I gotta draw them away. So my only chance. Uh, follow me. Follow me, silly. Ow! Oh, that was a knife! That was a knife! That's not cool, man. Uh, okay, rush to the thing. No! Yeah, that was that was too he's too close. Oh my gosh, I need you guys to leave leave this thing alone for just a few seconds. Oh no, oh, come on. That was a dodge. That was totally a dodge. Eh? Oh my gosh, Wake, you're so out of shape. And there's so many dudes everywhere. Why can't I just grab one of these knives? Be get stay back, you I missed. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. A little winded. We made it. Made it safely to this light. Now, I really, really want to start that generator. So I'm going to run back into the darkness. And hope that none of them spawn in it. Where is it? There it is. Really, none of them's gonna spawn. Oh, cool! They all just screwed away. They screwed off. How how were you expected to like actually start this with all those dudes? I don't think you were. But uh, you know what? Now I have another checkpoint. So you know that's good. That the second checkpoint is always good. Now that they're all gone, though, I'm just gonna explore a little bit because you know what? There might be a thermos out here. Man, this game looks really pretty. I mean, it's it's old. It's an old game. It's a 360 game, but it still looks really pretty for a 360 game. And then again, you know, graphics never really mattered to me that much. It's gameplay. It's gameplay that always mattered to me. Game can look however it freaking wants, but as long as it's fun, that's 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 just, that's the bottom line. Fun equals fun. You can go back and play any any old school game that you like, that's nostalgic or not. There are some excellent old games out there. The car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Probably stole a car like I did. Maybe that's how I learned how to steal cars from Barry. Oh yes, heavy duty flashlight. Give me this. 
Give. Give. Yes. Yes. The strength. The strength. Oh, thermos. Don't mind if I do. And more batteries. Yes, good. Uh, and what if I just stand in this fire pit for a second? No? Nothing? All right, cool. I was kind of hoping that I could become a flashlight myself. But alas, it was not to be. Ah, oh, well. Let us continue. This game is also a good teacher. It teaches us you should there. always it have if it was Barry, a heavy-duty flashlight damage soon. in your car. And what if that car is going to crash like ours did? We already hit up the campsite. Oh, oh, ho, ho, oh, ho, ho, oh. Go away. You don't scare me, gate. Oh, oh! I'm trying to deliver each page God? at the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses. Oh no! Life. Not uh, uh, I had seen it in my Thomas dream. Zane. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh, yeah! It's got to be Tom Zane. It's got to be Thomas Zane. It's gotta be our missing writer who came before me and did all this cool stuff. Oh, oh. Get all the cool stuff. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story mm. reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. So do I have to, like, write the ending to it successfully being freed? And this is, it's all just like my mental torture to try and get me to do that? Or is the, is this, once the story just ends in general? Oh my goodness. Okay, and there's nothing I can do about these, right? There's no way I can like, no. Okay. Okay. This, this has got to be careful here. There's just traps everywhere. Just carefully step around the traps. Avoid the trappy trap traps. Okay, that looks like a sp that looks like a clear passage. Ooh. What about over here. Okay, that looks like a clear passage. Oh man. Why are there so many traps? What are they trying to catch other than me? Aha! I made it past you. Minefield of snapping metal steel jaws. Oh. Great. Wonderful. Spookiness. The storm oh, it looks like there's a gun up there, though. The Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their Christ. eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Oh, really? Well, now. Oh, I bet in the past when, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I bet that that's what they did. Someone I bet that they fought the them off behind. when Tom now Zane I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Are you a trap? Yeah, you're a trap. Okay. But we've got to get a, something else. we got to get another gun. I'm, I'm, shotgun's not enough. It really isn't enough. What's this say? Taken are filled with darkness. All right. Nice. Cool. I knew that. They, they very visibly look like that. Filled with darkness. Is there anything else out here that I can grab? Maybe? Like, uh, I don't know. Anything? Anything at all? I really feel like I should be able to, like, grab rocks and use them as weapons. Like, if they can throw shit at me, why can't I throw shit back at them? Eh. Probably doesn't have a good throwing arm. Riders not known for their, uh, arm strength. Got 
Hi, buddy. Hey there, pal. Hey, friend. Hey, buddy, man. Can you step in that trap for me? Oh, okay. You just don't care about the trap at all. Oh, there must. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna leave now, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Where am I? Did I trap myself? Sort of. Almost. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's... Let's go up here, and then over here, and then down here, and then away we run from that man. We're running from that man. No. You do not get to do that. You do not get to do that today. No throwing things. Nope. You stay back. I'm not going to waste a shotgun bullet on someone so crappy. Crappy low-level enemy. Nope, you don't get a shotgun bullet. I bet there's something nice up in that, that thing, but I don't see a way up there. Ow! Boo! Bad, bad guy. Oh, it's a climby. Dang it. There's traps everywhere. Ah! Oh. Well, at least it's not doing much damage. I could take like 900 hits like that. I'm fine. I have a strong body. Even though I have weak limbs and a weak, t and weak, uh, weaker lungs. Is that another shadow? Did I just. Ah! No! Nope, 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 nope. Yep, strong body, strong body, super strong body. So strong. Oh, I can even run on my injured foot. Woo, look at me go. You can't stop me. No, not with 100,000 throwing knives. Oh, ow. Not even with a sledgehammer to my back. Huh, all I need to do is fill my eyes with light and you go away. So why don't I just shine my flashlight in my own face constantly? I could see the car, Focus. but there was no sight of the driver. Oh. Knock, knock. Hello? Knock, knock. Anybody here? Ah! Barry. Ah! Ah! No, Danny, you're not. Ah! Please. Ah! It sounds like he's in the. Upstairs? Okay, well, you know, I didn't get up there in time. I probably couldn't have done it anyway. I don't really feel like I can save a lot of the people. Front door was locked. Unfortunately. But, um... I can go see the aftermath. We can do that. That's easy enough to do. Let's go this way first. I can't. Let's go this way first. Hello? Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? Did you just shot? You see, they're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, oh, no. Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. I know. Like I believe you. Bad follow up to a real good movie. <laughs> the best friends. Suddenly the bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? I think I did. Oh. Well, so, I'm sorry, sir. I'm very sorry that I, I think that I wrote your death into the story. But, um, this, there's an important question here. If his friend was taken by the Taken, and he's dead from a bullet wound, does that mean that they can shoot guns now? Or did they did in did he struggle and get shot by his own gun? I'm really hoping it's the ah uh, oh. Through every possible course in my head, if I continue like the dark presence wants me to, oh. the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No, it won't. It's going to kill her yeah. and me and everybody yep. in this town. No one will survive. <sighs> Darkness will consume Not everything. Good. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, mm -hmm. unstoppable. 
It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. Nope. I'll escape. Yes. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible oh. risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Oh. oh, so clever. So what I'm seeing is me writing the story that I'm in right now because I've been written into it. And what I'm doing is what I'm writing myself doing. Oh, that's, that's some inception right there. Whoa. Oh, man. Whoa. This is a really old telephone. Oh, excuse me. Um, could you could you not? Excuse me. Uh, could, could you could you could you stay out there maybe? Just just maybe? Because uh, I'd really I'd really like it if you could just stay, kind of just chill for a second. Yeah. Thanks. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Yeah. Well, Danny was a big feller, and now he's a dead feller, doubly dead feller. Uh, the farm was aha! There we go. Away. Ow! I'd need a car to get there fast. Oh. Dead deer. And yellow riding. Which is which is good. Hi, deer. Oh, I can move the deer. Oh, there it is. Give me goodies. Yes, a flashbang and a flare. Oh man, Fox, you shouldn't have. I love flashbangs. Ever since finding out how crazy useful they are. Even though they can kind of hurt me too. Alright, so the car works. We know this. I should probably use this car to drive over a bunch of bad guys and get to safety. First, For a let's moment, read this story. Been considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Hmm. But I mean, Hartman's dead, right? We trapped him in the room with the darkness. He's, he's got to be dead, right? Right? Darkness wants me to do stuff for it. Should, you know, get rid of the people that are in my way. Let's go. If Barry Let's go, Truckio. He's probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, oh. I felt bad for doubting oh. him. It, After all, it, I made okay. this for myself. But Barry is Barry. Wait, is it, isn't there like a, a flashlight beam increase button? Yeah, there it is, A. Oh! Look at that. Look at that thermos hiding right there in plain sight. So easy to have missed. But I didn't. Come here, Thermos. We will protect you. We will keep you safe and warm in our code of infinite Thermos storage. I... I don't... I not like how I can't... Like, looking around is really, really twitchy in the car. Okay, well, it wants me to go right. So, we're gonna go left. Yep, because... Figured... Figured as much. Oh look, the crappy bouncy jeep car. I'm not touching that. We are not driving through that again. Or going through that again. Okay, yellow riding, you better not be teasing me here. Is there gonna just be a monster when I when I activate this one? Lithium batteries. I feel like it's gonna be something bad. Something bad's gonna jump out, grab me. Listen in for footsteps. Nothing. You know, I'm checking stuff upstairs, upstairs anyway. I know they're gonna spawn in later, but nothing. All right. Looks clean. Looks clear. All right. That means probably that in a few seconds something horrible will spawn up there and attack me. But for now, we're gonna get a flashbang, another flashbang, and nothing else. Okay. 
boom, bash that way out of the door. Come on, darkness. Come on. That breathing's really creeping me out. I don't know if it's my own or somebody else's. I'm pretty sure that's kind of the whole point. That was, honestly, the scariest part of Dead Space for me was listening to your ragged breath in your own helmet. Ugh. Then I realized that is the only scary part of, of Dead Space, really. Stop being scary after that. That might be another game I could play. But I've already played that. I kind of want to play games that I haven't played yet before. For this, for the channel. Ooh! Ooh! Fast car! Fast car! Oh yeah, we're taking fast car. We're not, we're not gonna leave fast car. We're gonna leave stupid truck for fast car. Let's get up here and get a lay of the land. And what do we got well, on radio? As I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we okay, all felt good. Awesome. The boys at the mm. weather surface reckon it'll last until how morning. Much, how much, though? At least. Pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian yeah, sure. woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please what? make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give them a hand. Hmm. <clears throat> this is Pat Interesting. Main on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. All right. Well, we're got to keep on lookout for a, a blind woman. It sounds like. That music is really creepy. Why would you play that right now? Freaking radio man. Don't play creepy music. Uh, wow! What a uh, what an amazing uh, uh, camera angle, camera angle that was. And uh, what about you? You want to get some light too? I know you do. I know you do. It is really really slow. Look at how slow you are. You're so slow. Oh 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 man. Rifle bullet to your face. Your darkness face. Why can't I swap to my... There we go. Reload my pistol. Hop in the fast car. Which probably belonged to one of those three fellers. Um, and uh, we're getting out of here. Oh, this car feels so much better to drive, honestly. Okay, we're driving to the farm. I don't know what's at the farm, but I want to find out. Have I been up here? Yeah, I have been up there. Okay, wait, was that the other way I could go from the from the truck? Maybe? No, I wish it was a map. Ooh, I spy a thermos, I think. Right? Okay. Is that a thermos? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, gonna grab that real quick. Carefully shut the door. Yep, yes. Because, you know, you want to take all the time in the world to do this kind of stuff, Mr. Wake. You want to be really slow and methodical with everything that you do. Men? Men? Where? Well, there's one. Two. Three. Four. All right, you know what? Um... I could use bullets, or I could just do this. Beep beep! Vehicular Shadow Slaughter. How's the car looking? 
It's only smoking a little bit, I think. It'll be fine. No. I have a break. I don't know if I have a break. There's got to be so many freaking secrets out here in these woods right now that I'm missing. But uh, I'll deal with that at a later date. Oh! Okay. Zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yes! We're playing GTA now. And run you over. And that guy's on my car. And run you over. And we're gonna double back around for this guy because, I mean, you can't leave him out here all alone. He's got no friends now. There we go. Ooh, 180. No, 360. I said half a circle. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, can I bypass that by driving through the field? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Alright, game, your clever game design has forced me to leave the cool car, cool kids club car, and go forward on foot. Oh, okay. Alright. And now we have monsters in front and behind us. Can you just not? Thanks. That'd be nice. Wow, you're... You're a big jerk. You're a big dumb jerk. And now you're dead. Hi there, buddy. Bye there, buddy. Click, click, click. Oh, it's the bullets in the chamber. And start off with a dodge and start a run-in. And run for like 10 feet and then run out of breath. Jeez. Can't get a to catch our breath. And then we're just gonna we're gonna just casually jog because he seems incapable of anything else. Ah, can't go that way. Let's go this way. And drop down. Look at this nice open field. There can't possibly be anything horrible in this nice open field, right? It's not like they'll possess this windmill and turn it into a, like, I don't know, Gundam. Send the Gundam windmill after me. Or have the windmill blade flying after me like a giant shuriken. I highly doubt that'll happen. I thought there kind of would be something here. I, I know, I, I'm, I just want to find out. I'm mildly disappointed. I kind of thought it would hit me and hurt me. <laughs> nope, it just shoves Alan out of the way. Alright, why is it telling me to get that way? Isn't this part of the farm? Let's stick this out anyway, because there's an arrow there. Ooh, spooky music. It's a stinger. A musical stinger. What is it that you want to tell me, musical stinger? Is it that there's something good inside this house? Something bad inside this house? Uh, looks like good so far. I see a chest over there. And yeah, nothing else. Nothing else. Let's see what's in here. God. Revolver ammo, flashbang, and nobody charged in after me to try and kill me. Awesome! Except that guy. He did. But he's gone now. This guy is also bad. Oh, hoo -hoo, perfect dodge. That's what we call in the business, a perfect dodge. Bye, man. Bye, man. I used that joke already. And reload the revolver. Gosh, the rifle's really powerful. It's got to be the most powerful weapon in the game, I guess. I really feel like there should be more pages out here, you know? Hidden. Oh, man. My desire to explore is, like, only tempered by my desire to get to the uh, end of the game so that I could play the, uh, the Alan Wake DLC in control. Ugh. It's, 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 it's irking me. It's irking me, knowing that I'm probably not getting everything. But, what did it, what? Why? Can, if I shoot that, no, I'm not going to shoot that. I'd known I don't want to set that off right now. Of rock stars. But it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh my god. 
<laughs> really? Wow. There it is. Oh my gosh. God damn. <laughs> I'm so glad you decided All right. to go alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. What? I want this. Give me this. Now, we have to fight them off. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Boom. Hey, oh. Oh, ho, ho. No, 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 no. You're not gonna be that easy, buddy. Ow. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. No, oh, man, this is bad. This is real bad. Come on. Oh, dodging that. It's gonna hit you. Nope. I hit dodge like three times, but uh, it's not. It's not doing it. This lantern feels like it sucks. I'm so glad you decided it, it really to go feels like it's not that good. Why is why is this heavy duty lantern supposedly better? I don't know. Give give. Maybe it hits multiple dudes. The beam is bigger. I don't know. Ah. Come on. Oh, you're a two shotter? Nah. Okay, you know what? What if I just do this? Yes! Back! Back, you cannibals! Nice! I'm just gonna stand in this. There's nothing you can do here. Nothing at all. You all just despawn if I stand there. Oh, great. Alright. Well. Come on. Ah! I'm being really trying to be precise here. I just, could, you, could you not be throwing axes at me right now? I'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it if you stopped that. So I'm gonna just freaking yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. And we have we have really like summoned like, everything. This is basically just a crescendo event from freaking that one. Uh, uh, what level? The one level in, um... Ah. Uh, wow, that was a terrible... I did not even, die, like, attempt to dodge that. What is it? Uh, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, the Carnival of Darkness. Carnival Terror? Dark Carnival. Dark Carnival, that's it. That's Dark Carnival. Grab everything, grab everything, grab everything! Do I got anybody there? No. Got you, though. Goodbye. Are you a big one? You're a big one. I think you're a big one. Oh! There we go! Reload the rifle. I won't. I'm gonna win. I'm a lottery. Lottery's gonna be. Well, there's nothing like lottery. Awesome no! It is pretty cool. I will admit, it is really cool. Really? Children of the Elder God! I mean, yeah. Uh, this is a pretty kicking song. Whoa! Get off of me. I'm just gonna sit. I'm not gonna stand there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me more bullets. Give me more bullets. Give me more hunting rabbit bullets. Yes. Give me everything. Ow. I did not appreciate that. I really don't appreciate any of you right now. You're all jerks. You're all big, big freaking jerks. Go away. Just like that.
Man. They did set this up. Wait. Wait, okay, hang on. So if I'm... <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Okay. Let's back up a second. I just found out that I'm writing myself into the story. Right? Yes. So I'm writing myself into the story. But at the same time... When did I start that? Was the start of my journey when I wrote myself into the story? Or did I write myself into the story at the point when I discovered I started writing myself into the story? Because if... If, if the start of the game is the start of the story at which I'm writing myself into... And it's kind of like, now we're crossing... And I've caught up with myself... Then that means that the entirety of the asylum was me writing myself in... in. So this was me writing this happening, made by those two dudes. So the two guys I wrote, at, assuming again that this is all, this is all written, and it's following the right and written way that Alan is writing it in that tiny room, and I'm seeing the external world of the story through the TVs. So this is, so that's, so I'm seeing Alan trapped in the cabin in the water. In the darkness realm. Well, I, Alan, a am a, a darkness manifestation of Alan, controlled by Alan. Because the darkness makes the world the way that the story's written. So I wrote myself in here to the asylum to, to meet the two guys who I had met at the diner. And they were actually old rock stars. And they set this up for me to go do... And that's why they were able to give me the page, but then where does Thomas Zane come in? He's helping as well. Oh, this is all confusing. I'm just going to play the game. No, I'm, I'm going to stop trying to, like, figure... Ooh! Page. Shiny. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people. And a huge manhunt... Rude? ...stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Hmm. Well, that guy doesn't do much reading, I guess. That's kind of a stereotype. Wait, does that mean that I've written that... Nor that agent guy in, too? Is... Is the Feds... Are the Feds... Me writing them into the story as well? Or is that just... Where does the writing begin and the world... Where did the world end and the writing begin? Did it ever? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so Inception-y. It's a story within a story. Oh, it's so cool! Whoever wrote this game is freaking smart. See, bestseller? No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once what? we have the place secured. What? Yeah. That's been this, my biggest this has story this has time. significance. This absolutely has significance. We like, why else would it just keep showing up? Way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. All right, easy to do. Cardboard me. You stay right here, just as you have been, and look fabulous. I'm going to run off into the wrong direction and see what I can find. This is a really powerful beam. Oh, that's a nice noise. Feels a little beefier than the uh, previous ones. I'm gonna feel sad when I lose this. I thought the mag light was the best. Turns out, nope, it's this thing. What does this run on, like, every single battery I have? Yeah, probably. What in the world? How old is this? They still have and use this? How did these metal wheels not just completely destroy the ground? This thing is fucking huge and heavy. There's no way. There's no way. It would just tear up whatever the... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Jeez. This, they're, all their stuff is ancient. Ooh, page. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete. A collection of random pages. But there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hand shook with emotion. 
Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. Right all along about what? That I can control your fate, Mr. Nightingale, with the power of my hand? Does that truly mean the pen is mightier than the sword? Because that, that seems like a recurring theme that I can play on here. Is if I can literally write the world with a pen, then what can't I... Can, what, what is there that I can't do? Although I have to make the darkness think it's real. Otherwise it'll, you know, destroy me or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh, how old is this bicycle? Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Is this even a bicycle? What am I looking at? Is this just a bunch of wheels? It's just a bunch of wheels. Just a bunch of ancient metal wheels. Crazy. Okay, I think I saw something blinking over here. Did I? Did I see something? Or was it just my flashlight? Looks like it was just my flashlight. Tricking me. Is that a hole in the fence? No. I mean, sort of, but not hole enough. Not a big enough hole that I can go through for the purpose of the game. Totally could grow through that, but Alan Wake can't crouch. He's too out of shape to crouch. He needs to get into shape. He needs to eat all the protein. Climbing up the ladder. Jeez, this beam looks like it goes on forever. Careful. Hey, Slime. right about everything and if I don't get my way I'll sulk all day long I'm always intense and moody it makes me very attractive and mysterious right now I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me but that's okay I can just take him for granted I think I see what you did there yeah it was pretty good you want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler no thought so <laughs> Slowly rising. All right, we did it. Oh, I should probably not fall here. Oh, oh well, whatever. All right, Barry, let's go. Take fake me and let's get inside this building. Ah. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> All right, I just unlocked it. It's, it's, it's be... Thanks, Barry. I wouldn't have known. They go out with all. Oh. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Oh, that's. Jeez, that's that that painful. That's painful. What's down here? Battery still. Okay, there's nothing on the bottom shelf, nothing else on those shelves. All right. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, this light is like almost too bright inside. It's like painfully bright. Ooh, a thermos. Also, a cool little car. Look at this thing. Look at this little car. Oh, it's such a cool car. It looks like a tiny version of the Cruella de Vil car from the 101 Dalmatians movie. The animated one. I don't think her car looked the same in the live action? I don't remember. I saw the live action so long ago. Oh. Why does the, why does the cartoon stick in my head better than the live action movie? I don't know. Oh, look, bullets. Oh, hey, bullets. Oh, hey, TV. Uh -huh. oh. Spend a third of our dreams in its soft embrace. Somewhere between fantasy hey, remember when and I got to that gig? Your first real Turn writing job. What got you started? Into waking life. Was this one of your what? episodes? Or vice versa. What? In Night I wrote Night Springs? Tonight's episode. How deep does this go? The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? <laughs> Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. Oh. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. 
am the one what? who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. <laughs> You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming. Weird. This. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I? A shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, oh. something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, uh oh. God, us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Well, that one wasn't all that scary, at least to me, but I'm certain it probably is a terrifying concept to a lot of people. It's like an existential crisis right there. Oh, man. That's more of like a, a interesting philosophy question to me, more than a terrifying concept. But uh, I understand that can be super scary. All right, another page. More Viking shields. Is that a cutout? What is that? Oh, it's a Viking ship. Oh, oh, okay. Let's see what this says. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Oh. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh no. I wonder if he did actually pluck his own eye out. The Viking boat looked imposing, Ugh. almost like a battering ram. Oh. Oh. Geez, they did actually wow, okay, they really did go out. I thought just just all this little junk around here. No, they actually have a frickin' boat. Full on Viking uh longboat. Ooh. The Old Gods of Asgard, 1975 Ragnarok Tour. Be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. April 11th, Seattle, Washington. April 13th, Bakelfield, California. April 14th, Long Beach, California. April 17th, New York City, New York. April 18th, New York, New Jersey. April 22nd, Detroit, Michigan. Hey, that's... Why would you go there? Like, everywhere else, okay, yeah, but... It's 1975. Okay, I guess it's a little better. I guess Detroit's a little better in 1975. Maybe? Uh -huh. April 26th, Jacksonville, Florida. April 27th, Tampa, Florida. April 30th, New Orleans, Los Angeles. May 1st, Baton Rouge, Los Angeles. Is CA... Okay. Whatever. Same. Going to a specific... Oh, is it? No, it's LA, not L dot A dot... Oh, that's Louisiana. Right? Yeah, it's got to be Louisiana. Anyway, that makes more sense. Um, it's New Orleans. Wow, how did I mess that up? Huh, cool. But also, also kind of, well, you know, Florida, again, in the 70s, Florida, yeah, Florida makes sense, again. It wasn't really, I mean, it was like a huge income of uh, products, you know. Of course. It does work. Yes. Open sesame. Or yeah, whatever it, it, it open is in Viking. Uh. Hi. How did you get here? Why are you here? Please leave. I said please leave here. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that was spooky. That would actually kind of startle me a little bit. <laughs> I waited until you were And reload my gun. Fairy, you all right down there? These dudes did just come out of the nowhere-sville to attack me. Fairy? Fairy? Oh, I bet he just ran out the door. Yep. Good old Barry. Uh, are you all right there, dude? You totally just freaking... Uh, what? What is... What is your deal, man? Um, yeah, I, I know, but I kind of want to get rid of this dude. He's kind of like trouble. Well, he seemed kind of like trouble. I think we found out that uh, hunting rifle, <laughs> hunting rifle, hunting rifle is a uh, best weapon in game, considering it just one shot a boss. I mean, every other time we fought one of those dudes, they were a boss. It took like what six, eight handgun shots. How many shotgun shots? A lot. Uh, just gonna try to avoid the sparking death wires. Don't go near downed power lines, even if they don't look like they're actually live. Because you know what? Sometimes you can't see the sparking electricity coming out the other end like that. You have no idea they're actually live until the very... Okay, all right. You know what? How about we just grab one of these? How was that? You guys like that? Did you like that? I feel like you probably didn't like that very much. I get this, this strange feeling. Really strange feeling. But uh, it's all right. I, I know what you were like. There you go. And let's attach the reload our rifle. All right. Now, excuse me, Mr. Truck. I need to move through you. Goodbye, truck. I'm not sorry. This bus is cool. I like old cars. Old cars are cool. I'm not really a car guy. I don't know much about cars in, like, the general. But, I mean, that looks cool. That looks like a cool car. All right, we're here. Are you? Can I go in? Can can I can I just push past you? Oh, I guess I have to step one foot closer to you for you to actually go inside. All right. What do we got here? Moonshine. Wow. Those Moonshine Distillery. Production going on. Oh, you know yeah. what? Yeah. If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, All right. release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Mm. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this. Sure. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I'll the find its way out. From the other side. I'd have of to course. find another way. Um, gotta be a th way up that I can take. Uh, this? Nope, can't interact with that. Maybe... Ah, door. Ha-ha! <laughs> the power of my foot. Power invested in my legs. I say the open. Be careful, Al! Yeah, 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 yeah. What, you think the barn's just gonna collapse underneath me? Because, you know, that'll totally happen. This thing stood for who knows how long. Those crazy guys. They built a good barn. It was holding up a freaking um, Excuse me one second. <sighs> Thank you. That was rude that they erupted. It was holding up a freaking Viking boat. They keep trying to do this jump scare stuff, and I'm not having any of it. Mm -mm. No, no, I'm not. I'm not dealing with your jump scare dar darkness. I, your your jump scare crap, is not gonna get to me. Maybe it'll get to me, but that one didn't. That one was just like you know, uh, an 
inconvenience. Freaking inconvenience. All right, what do we got around here? More stairs going up. Jeez, how tall is this barn? What is this? Sure. I bet I already have one. So, whatever. Um. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the Haha! What's that say? Not Joe. Nice. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns yeah, like an ongoing investigation. With the feds. We can't talk about Trying that, to find me. I wasn't gonna shooting say Shadow Man. Just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. Gosh. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Why is this now, light is so it just me, bright? or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier <laughs> and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, huh. you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for Grown men, by. like... I'll let you get back to your patrol. Odin sure and... Thing, Pat. Poor. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Probably Odin and Tor. Wait, does that mean that there's not going to be any more radio shows if I got an achievement already for, like, finding all the... It's like, didn't miss a single radio show? Is the game almost over? Have I almost beaten Alan Wake? Already? Maybe. I don't know how close I am. I have no idea. I don't know how many episodes... Was there, what's that other, like, DLC episode? That... <sighs> right. There is that DLC episode. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far enough. Oh. I wasn't worried yeah. about trusting the ramblings of two yeah. burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. <laughs> what? Oh. Alright. Oh, you you dare? You dare stand in my way, small metal gate? Yeah. Take that. With these legs, I have kicked many a door, ladder, and darkness. You do not stand a chance. Oh, wait, it's batteries. I don't need those. Okay. This thing's totally not going to come to life and try to kill me in the field. I can't possibly consider that to be the... Call it! Oh boy! Oh boy! That should have instantly given me. Can I just like chuck grenades at you? Will that actually kill you? Oh, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, goodbye. 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 Uh, goodbye. Nope. No, no, no. I already killed your boss monster. Already killed your boss monster. You're not getting me. You ain't getting me. Nope. Come here, man. You think you can catch me now? I just killed a freaking combine. There's nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do to stop Alan Wake. Alan Wake is invincible. Ooh, I'm real scared, random singular man with an axe. I just, there's, you can't come, you can't come back from fighting a combine. Like, there's nothing you can do now to make me afraid. Oh, except maybe make me miss my rifle. All right, let's see what we got in here. Hunting rifle, flares, revolver ammo, 
shotgun ammo. Don't need that. Uh, I don't need any of that junk. All right, well, that's the way we want to go, because the game is telling us to. Let's go this way. What do we have that we can find in this field? Because probably going to be something. Going to be something. Or not. It really feels like there should have been something in this field other than, you know, the boss monster. Val <laughs> uh, Like it. I like it. Oh, I can't just climb over this fence? Or walk through the gate? What do I have to do? Find a key? It's not locked. It's wood. Is it, is it held by ancient... Uh, as, uh, as guardian magics? Is that why I did go through it? Do I need the secret password? Maybe I need lightning. There's lightning back there. And up in the sky. Do I need to cast a lightning bolt on you? Wooden barricade? Bearing my way into the house? Yeah. What do we got in here? Nothing. Wait, I thought this was the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, it is. Climb up to the roof. All right. What's next? Drop down. Okay. Mm, nothing. And nothing. All right. Glowy blue thing. Doesn't look important. Doesn't look important. All right. Just can't go through this. Oh, I can't go through this door. Sweet. Silo keys. Ooh. So the light was telling me important things. I oh, can't go through there. The light's always helping me. Thanks, light. Praise the light. May the light uh, of Alan. Lead you yeah, to me. salvation. Unlock in silo. Hi. Do you have the hey, magic go, way to open the, uh, the the gate fence thing? Do you know how to get into their home? Do you have the power? Do we have to push these together? Have to work together to this gate, it's Looks not. It, it does. Hey, it, no, it's on hinges. On the the field. It's We're on hinges. There. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. Yeah. You should feel right at home then. Yeah. All right. What are we going to call it when we get in the house? Depending on things. Can, Come on, can... one more gig. Let's and go. yeah. My shoulder is as strong as my foot. All of Anwig's body is a glistening Adonis. His lungs, however, are paper bags. Filled with water. Wet paper bags. His legs could run for 30 days, but his lungs can run for less than 10 seconds. There is, there is so much just open space out there. Man. You know, I watched a movie. I watched a uh, thing, video on YouTube about uh, about this game, and how uh, it was a video called War Stories on Alan Wake, and how originally it was actually going to be an open world game, and then over the course of the creation of it, they realized they couldn't really do that, and they didn't want to do that, and uh, there were some other factors that came into play, and they had a bunch of time. That's totally not going to fly at me later or be wielded by some maniac when we come back outside. Old gods know the truth. Um, but, uh, basically the reason there's, like, so much space to explore is because this game was going to be open, game, open, at one point. And then they, uh, they couldn't, they couldn't keep it that way, so they had to use what they had and they made these giant cool open open areas was out but i was sure i could fix that at the fuse box 
Oh, so I can't look at these was out, until. All right. I sure, I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay. I can't look at these with my flashlight, with my brilliant beam, until I turn on the lights. Sure. All right. Whatever. I guess my giant hand lantern isn't powerful enough. It's not worthy enough for the gods. Ooh, bathroom thermos. And just in case you know you're you're running low on energy when you when you're doing your business and you just you know, got to get a. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding. Huh. Those guys sound awesome. Hmm. So who lives here? Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? Can't go in there. Let's read this. Hey, like. Perfectly placed story Again, page. Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh boy. Oh, okay, okay. I like the sound of that. What is this? Asgard. Alright, probably a CD. Oh, there's a fuse box. Alright. Let's go turn on the power. Boop. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Must be. CW. That was she was the one that wrote all the I missing miss you Tom. CW and TZ. Cindy Weaver. Together. Where is it coming from? Give it a little thump. I want to hear the song. I mean, I don't even see the player. All right, let's play the record. Time for awesome song. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Oh no. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might no. as well get some rest. And by rest, no. I'm drunk. Come on, no. Barry. This is Yeah. No. Oh. No, you this this is not the time to do this. This is not the time to do this. You may think it is. You may want to forget all your problems, but you need a clear head right now. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. This is where we fall asleep, and Nightingale comes in and puts the gun to our head, like we read in the pages. Write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't, but I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. I'm <laughs> gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. <laughs> I just miss her, Barry. I just want her. He here sounds like me. a dude, bro. Now, know, when he gets I drunk, know. he sounds like a dude, bro. I just okay. miss her, Barry. I just miss her. He went from calm, quiet. Ellen Wake, the writer. To, I just miss her, man. It's fun. I mean, I know some of my friends say that they uh, they they get a different accent when they're drunk. Me, I don't drink. 
Not a drop. Won't ever do it either. He's sleeping with his eyes open. Is he sleeping with his eyes open? Looks like he is. Hi, yeah, it's me. I'm a ghost now, apparently. Ghost me. Ooh. Oh, we just read about this, too. Cool. Right, okay. Oh, now, wait, back at the beginning? Ghost me is back at the beginning. Wait, um... Oh, I don't actually have control? What? What am I... Am I... Oh. Okay, so I'm in first person now? I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, uh, and yet it was more than that. All right. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was Ooh. there, an out-of-body observer. drinking can lead to This was the night Alice benefits. and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. Most people drink to forget. To find out what had happened. I remember being surprised to see the Alice? cabin dark. Alice. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I guess Wolverine did try to drink to remember, and, you know, X-Men Origins Wolverine. I remembered thinking, I caught I'm sorry I made you remember that film. Sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. Do you want after me to go that, in after? The next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I don't like diving into water. <laughs> Oh, I don't have to. I can just watch myself come back up out of the out of the water. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. I mean, he did just dump into the Alice. lake Jagger at had night, Alice. and so she had me. Alice. Oh, you're gonna get hypothermia. I'm, I'm still wearing those clothes. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? What? What? Alice? Maybe what? she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Did Alice? Is she? The dark presence oh, had touched me. She had dug her nails into with our heads. and used me. My ghost me. Or my ghost me. I guess we're both ghost me. She must be here somewhere. We're mostly ghostly. In the study. Alice. We are the yes, Boo Brothers. Where she is. You can apologize. Alice. You Press X to Alice. And put it you. Alice. 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 She's Alice. Here. You no. are foolish to think so. No, You're a she's jerk. Dead. She drowned. You're a big jerk. No, no, no! I'm really tall in a it's ghost. It's your fault your wife is dead. You Maybe are I'm guilty. Just floating, like a real All ghost. she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. I will no! haunt you, you big oh, dumb hush, bitch. Still Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I Unwrite her death. Don't listen to her. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Okay. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Interesting. So, what have I missed? Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh, okay. Oh. No. I was was I seeing through Zane's eyes? I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure oh. that the unfolding story would make her more oh. and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, oh. to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. Huh. 
It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. <laughs> you must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. Dang. All right. We have summoned a big daddy. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. And so the diver man has been like tossing our pages all over for us. Oh, the week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Man, so what did I did? Have I not? When did I eat? It had did I eat it all? Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. Oh. But he Sorry, had managed Zane. to weaken the dark presence. Kept me safe that night. <laughs> Jeez. Watch the road, man. Oh my gosh. So now we know what happened. Basically I nothing. Know. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, boy. I wonder what he thinks is my fault. There's an road with mystery of Tom the poet I like this song. I don't want to listen to it. Maybe I could just end on this. Just end on the song. Yeah. Well, no, when I press B, it's going to keep playing video. And I can't do another episode tonight. Sorry, song. If you play at the end of the whole stream, at the end of the video, like, I'm going to let you actually play. Like, when I'm done with the game. I'm gonna play for a little bit longer. There we go. The line. And I'm the poet. Alright, let's get going. Previously on Alan Wake. Under the Do influence it. of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault and you're gonna pay for it. A clicker. Interesting. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a oh, I don't like that. Coming up, but, uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Barry. I have it. Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh, or is it a light? Hello, hello, hello. Something about Cynthia's telling us something while we're sleeping. Sleeping off our drunken stupor, our moonshine All stupor. The manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. <coughs> Lol. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Yeah. Al, this yeah. is not good. No. That about sums it up. That's... yeah. There's, there's a drain right there if you need to vomit. I am never drinking Or a toilet again. over there. I need That's to what they to always me. say. She's the one in the song. 
the Lady of the Light. What, the crazy it, lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Right They're not you gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. I want to take well, this and throw it at your I've face. Got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking what? out of here. You hear me in there, Brett what? Easton Ellis? Huh? When, when did I write about wanting to I kill you? To your superior. Well, we all I mean, I do, sheriff. but when did I write I about it? My... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. Oh, boy. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this uh, crap. No. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed mm. you were here on official Drinking business. Drinking bad. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... <laughs> And there you go. Oh my god. Light. We need light. It's the yep. only way to fight this thing. In my yep. office. I've got your things there. Follow me. My good flashlight? Oh, man. oh hey, I, I can get some my, my, my story back. Stay no, 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 no. I gotta read this. tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm gonna read this page too, and then we'll call it. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, oh my read it on the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. So I wrote what would happen, and he read what would happen, and it, it, it happened. <laughs> that doesn't sound nearly as profound as it's bringing in my head to be, but, oh my god. All right, I guess I guess we'll get my stuff back and then call it. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? No, we should we could call it here. It's almost it's almost been an hour and a half. I got I got stuff I got to do. So, yeah, I'm going to call it here. Um I did not expect these turn of events when I started the stream today. This game keeps surprising me, and I'm very happy that I managed to avoid all the spoilers for it. Um and we'll continue to do so. So, thank you so much for watching if you did watch and i hope you enjoyed what you did see this is all going up on youtube so if you didn't see it here you can see it there um and i need to put annotations on it still i need to do a lot of things that i haven't done yet but i will so thank you for watching if you like this and you want to see more of me my youtube channel has more of me all over it it's just me there's only me on there because it's my channel which makes sense Except there's a video with me and my friends. Which is not just me. So I guess I just lied. And there's also the videos that I did with my other friend in Alien Isolation. So uh, there's not just me. But me, I'm there. All of it. There's me in it. Yes. Okay. This is Undaster. Signing off. Bye.